And this morning we are cooking with you. Alyssa Kirkpatrick is in the kitchen with me. Alyssa, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. From Green Bay. Yes. Tell me about what you do. I am a business office manager at a local dental office. How fun. Yes. Um, you're married. You yes. have a son. Yes. Uh, let's show some pictures really quick. I want to get right to it because they're adorable. I think the first one is of you and your husband, Andy. Yes. Tell me about this and where you were. Um, that was last September for our anniversary. We visited Candlewood Cabins in Richland Center. Amazing views. Um, wow. That was at the top of a, a prairie that we hiked up to. It was gorgeous. How fun. Oh, Archer. Archer, and that's our dog, Cooper. How cute. And he's in the studio. Him and Andy are here. I should let you know. There's a beautiful family photo of all of you. Thank you. Where is that at? That's gorgeous. That actually is at our photographer's home. How that fun. was actually last April, as you can see, much like this winter. Yes, right? <laughs> it's not going away. Okay, and then this one too is of your dad, is that my right? My dad and I, yes. Um, my dad is who I get my love of cooking from, so I wanted to share that. Well, let's get right to the cooking then, because okay. you have some great salads Thank for people. You. I know a lot of people are thinking about that. Cucumbers. Yes, cucumbers, oh. fresh, spring. My favorite. Let's talk about this recipe. Okay. How do you make it? Okay, um, you start with one pound of pasta nuggets and boiled, which I've already done here. Um, very easy recipe. Um, then what you do is you take one medium onion, chopped, dump it right in there. Do you want me to be the stir? Absolutely, I I'll love you. that, <laughs> thank you. And then we have three cucumbers. I have um, peeled them and diced them. A lot of people don't like the texture of the peel, so um, I will dump those right in there. And then for the sauce, which it's so good. Everybody asks me to make it anytime we have a potluck. Um, all it is is Marzetti's original slaw mix in a oh. jar in the refrigerated section at the grocery store. How easy. Super easy, very flavorful. And then um, and this here, half and half. What you do is you're going to put in half of the container of half and half at the time that you're preparing it. And then um, you'll refrigerate this. Typically overnight is the best thing to do. Um, if you don't have time to do that, I would say minimum of an hour. Okay. Um, right before serving, you'll mix in the remainder of the half and half. The uh, pasta tends to soak up all the, the juicy goodness. So. Um, and then the final step is just adding the spices. We have a tablespoon of dried dill. It smells great, even uh, though it's dried. Yeah, it's awesome. And then we have just a little bit of garlic salt. Great job stirring, by the way. <laughs> Get a little tired, Alyssa, I'm not gonna lie. And then just a pinch of salt and pepper. This looks fabulous. Yeah. So tell me about that, how you got, you know, cooking from your dad. How did that happen? Well, growing up, um, my dad, he has a huge garden, and he, I believe, got his cooking love from my grandmother. And um, we always spent a lot of time in the kitchen from making applesauce, canning vegetables, um, making Christmas cookies. And he also likes to try different recipes and kind of putsy types of things. And over the years, I've picked up on that. Mm -hmm. So. You also have something on Facebook. I do. Can I talk about that? Yes, absolutely. Because I joined it. <laughs> Tell me about the group really quick. Okay, well, um, I love to post pictures of things that I make and share the recipes that I that I make and love. Um, so I decided to stop littering everybody's news feeds <laughs> and I decided to create my own page on Facebook. And I'm happy to say I have many followers, um, people that try my recipes and just like to keep up on the pictures. Um, and I've just had so much fun doing it. Where can our viewers find that then? What's it called? Um, it is called Kitchen a la Kirkpatrick. <laughs> <laughs> that is so great. Well, Alyssa was so kind. She shared this recipe on her website, but don't go anywhere. She's going to make another one in the 8 o'clock hour, so we're going to have more for you in just a little bit. Don't go anywhere. Good Day Wisconsin will be right back.